I request Himan uh, to uh, talk about um, uh, uh, you know your topic of the day yeah. for about five or six minutes max. Then we have. Okay. So I'll just put up a slide for uh, uh, better understanding, and then we can. So uh, just one slide, means, you know. So uh, once we'll discuss on this for a minute, and then when we we'll, uh, speak, then we, you, you guys will be able to connect it more. What I'm going to say. So this is a situation for the last two years of the soya bean crushing. So I'm focusing today on the soya bean crushing mainly because that's one of the biggest crushes. So uh, this is the marketing year, which is October to September. So opening stock of soybean was 2 to 2.5 lakh and the production means you know, this is our numbers uh, what we anticipate. 90 to 95 lakh was the production and the seed import was another 3.4 what non-GMO seed that get exported in India from Africa. And then from this seed get retained every year for sowing is 12 to 15 lakh. So the total seed that get left till September was 80 to 85 lakh for crushing. Okay. 80 to 85 lakh for crushing. Then the meal opening stock was uh, 2 to 2 point uh, lakh. The total meal availability including this seed available for crushing and the opening stock was 67 to 71. And this is the domestic consumption of India for meal. And this is the consumption for animal meal. So this is the total meal available, this minus this, plus there was some 2.5 lakh ton meal that was imported. And there was some 20 to 21 lakh ton of meal that got exported in India in the marketing year 2021. So all this put together what situation was left. So there was only 1 to 1.5 lakh ton of seed. So last this year we had seen soybean seed prices going to 1 lakh rupees a ton or maybe even more. Correct. So now what happened next year? So there was no stock left. Again the crop was 95 to 100 of those the numbers. Uh, other agencies say higher but this is what we assume. And then again means you know this uh, uh, total crush, total crush till this was 70, uh, seed available was 73 to 76. The important thing to see here, the meal that got exported from India at 20, 21 lakh ton, only 6.8 lakh ton meal got exported, which resulted into, although the domestic meal demand also increased for edible and non-edible, which resulted into 12 to 15 lakh ton of seed remains uncrushed. So, what we are trying to say here, means you know, we have been talking about, uh, and this got carry forward in this October year. So, so if we start from this 12 to 15 lakh ton of seed, which is available on 1st October 2022, plus another big crop of 105 approximately plus minus 5, so that leads total seed to almost 120, uh, 12 million tons. Now, what do we do with this 12 million ton seed? We don't have a domestic demand here of that kind of meal. So, uh, we are always deficient in uh, edible oils, right? So, this meal, this seed should have easily crushed and the oil would have been used. But that didn't happen because there was no outlet for the soya meal. So, we have been, means, you know, if we talk about the policies, we have been talking and uh, discussing that uh, and keep on hearing that oil pay import duty laga dete hai, par uske seed ke rate pad jayenge, to farmer ko acha price milega. But, means, you know, fact here is, jab tak is meal ka outlet hamare India se nahi hoga, tab tak wo self-reliance, self-sufficiency ki jab hum baat karte hai ke, madab jo 12 lakh ton ki hai, usse hum 20 lakh ton kar dengi. But wo tel ne करने के लिए क्रॉप सफिशिएंट नहीं होगी उसका आज ये 12 लाख टन की तो 12 मिलियन टन की क्रॉप के अंदर भी 12 लाख टन सीड आप कैरी फॉरवर्ड करके ला रहे हैं और इस बार और बड़ा है तो समझने की इसमें सिर्फ दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज नॉट मींस यू नो जस्ट इंक्रीजिंग द ऑयल सीड प्रोडक्शन विल नॉट हेल्प अस इन अचीविंग सेल्फ रिलायंस इन एडिबल ऑयल्स अंटिल अनलेस वी हैव अ आउटलेट फॉर दिस सोया मिल बिकॉज़ इन द क्रशिंग इन इंडिया द सीड सोया सीड डजंट गेट क्रश्ड फॉर ऑयल इट गेट क्रश्ड फॉर मिल ऑयल इज सॉर्ट ऑफ बाय प्रोडक्ट so it is very important that uh, you know when we have been, we we talk to government the policy should be means you know on framed accordingly that uh, actually help one in exceeding in improving the oil seed area 
to uh, means you know uh, switching farmers from grains to oil seed, increasing the existing productivity of existing land bank. But simultaneously, we also need to see the policy should be aligned in a way that we have an outlet for this meal. Otherwise, means you know I don't think so. Uh, uh, that would help us in means, you know, achieving it uh, what we are aiming at. So this is this is one uh, uh, most important thing. And if we talk about uh, uh, means, you know, let's say if everything gets smooth, then the, this is one of the biggest challenge. Means, you know, that I don't think so. We have discussed so far in any of the government meetings or that has been brought to notice. So now, uh, if we talk about opportunities here, means, you know, there are a lot of opportunity in India. Uh, means, you know, to easily shift from uh, uh, oil seeds uh, from base to oil seed to make it a uh, more uh, means you know self reliant in edible oils and uh, then technology is one that is going to play an important important role in here uh, so this is what means you know, I wanted to say basically on the uh, means you know, this way have been SND and the crush strategy side of oil seeds and so I'm just on time, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Hemant.